Hi, I'm Winston Demarillo. I'm CEO of Morph Labs, a company that provides cloud computing infrastructure that we founded here in Cebu. And also, I'm a trustee of the PhilDev Foundation, which is a nonprofit NGO based in the United States focused on uh, helping develop the economy of the Philippines. Cloud computing is a new a new term of an old technology, right? So what it really means is that uh, it's applications that we can use from the internet. The most common thing, the most common understanding we have of cloud computing are things like Facebook and Twitter and Google, and things you use every day, right? The reason why we call it cloud is that when you're actually running the application, you don't know where it's running from, right? Murabag kuryente. Right, it's uh, it's just it works. You don't know where it's come from, and you can just use it. So that's why we call it cloud. Um, the underpinning of the cloud, there's things that make it run. Right, that eventually something will make it run. Anasha infrastructure. So the infrastructure for cloud computing is what we do at Morph Labs. So we uh, develop a technology that will take lots and lots and lots of computers around the world, combine them into like a power plant, and then distribute it around the world so people can use it to run applications like Facebook, Twitter, and, and Google Apps. So I have an office in Los Angeles, right? And I maintain that because I think that sets the bar on innovation. The US is still the best place to innovate around the world. Open-minded, lots of options, lots of opportunities. So actually uh, import Cebuanos into the US so they can learn more. So we have an office there. I have an office in Japan. Uh, because when you build high quality products, there's no place in the world that's focused on quality <laughs> better than ja the Japanese culture. So uh, my Japanese team is the thought leaders in quality assurance. And so I have an office in Tokyo to do that. Um, we have an office in Singapore for our design um, because it's closer to the Philippines and we have the good design resources there. Uh, we've just opened a partnership branch in Jakarta, in Indonesia, because the Indonesians have their own mindset. Uh, and obviously Manila and Cebu. Um, I envision that we're going to have more other uh, branches, say in Europe, would be next. Uh, probably in Turkey, because I like that place. Uh, but that's important also for entrepreneurship. And a little bit myopic that you're not thinking about your local territory, but you're focused on being the best in the world. And in order to be the best in the world, you have to be around the world. Uh, and that's the important exposure we're doing for Filipinos and Cebuanos in, in particular. That's not possible. <laughs> it, there's, there's this uh, PR person named Carissa that's you know, at fault for doing that. I'm not. I'm not going to be the next Dado Benatau. Dado Benatau is a unique person on himself, just like Dado is not the Pinoy Bill Gates. He hates that term. <laughs> um, uh, but I do aspire to be like Dado. Um, and the things I aspire to be Dado like has a lot less to do with building companies. I'm learning a lot with how Dado builds his company. I think I'm gonna build my companies differently. What, they, what I do aspire to be Dado-like here, the other things you might not have written enough of, in that he is an, an, uh, a, a great leader of his family, that in every aspect of, of their day, between him and Maria, they think about their kids and their grandkids. And if you go to their homes, they, it's designed so that it's a gathering point for the family and that the family is very involved in their daily lives. And that's a fantastic role model for me. And how he has achieved a lot in his life without ever sacrificing his relationship with his wife and his kids. Right? So I aspire to be dad alike in that aspect. I also aspire to be dad alike in other aspects of helping the country. Very few people can go to the president and say, we don't have enough PhD, give me $5 billion and we'll make that happen. Uh, that we don't have enough scholars, let's go raise 500 million pesos so we can have a lot of scholars in science and technology. Or that, you know, our K-12 to is not properly equipped, let's build cloud computing technologies for that. Not a whole lot of people can do that. A lot of people should aspire to copy that. <laughs> from a guy like Tado. So those two aspects, I, I, I'd like to be the next Dado Panatawa. <laughs> but in, in business, uh, he, we're different. You know, he's built silicon startups. Uh, I'm building uh, software and internet companies. Um, but you know, we talk every week and we compare notes and he's, he's my mentor. And, and we, we, he's a role model. I think that's, that's a more, more accurate description. The one advice that I could say, if there's one thing they, they, they want to do introspective soul searching for is find your passion. 
What makes you excited? When you wake up in the morning, what makes you excited, right? Uh, to me, that's rapidly changing all the time because today I'm getting excited cloud computing, tomorrow energy, but that excitement has to be there. When you have that first, everything follows. Right? When you have passion for something, whatever is missing in knowledge, you'll acquire. Whatever is missing in capital, you will seek out. Right? Whatever is missing in people and team, you'll be the best salesperson of your idea. Right? But it starts with passion. Right? And that's what I'm going to be looking for in Hack to Hatch. I'm looking for people that believe in what they're trying to do, that will commit to doing whatever it takes to be successful. And, and you can detect that very quickly. Yeah. And so that's, that's what I advise people is like, find your passion, right? Whatever makes you excited. So we have a rare opportunity here in Cebu and it's the first ever that we're doing in the country where we're gonna gather the best, the brightest, and the most accomplished Filipino uh, entrepreneurs to come to Cebu, not just to judge your ideas, but to be right next to you and walk you through the process of entrepreneurship and for those of you who would be lucky enough, uh, we will share in a very small way to seed your idea with a no strings attached financing uh, so that you can explore it better. And uh, hopefully, you know, with the, the opportunity of working with you uh, in a small way and in a consistent way, we can help the economy of the country by creating more businesses here. So I'm looking forward for event. Makita Tatanan sa October. Uh, five, six, and seven, and and I'm looking forward to to work with the you know entrepreneurs in Cebu, and the rest of the country is coming to Cebu.